So now we got that panel out of the way that was right here. One screw at the bottom, one screw at the top that holds it in. Looks like they've almost missed, but what we've got now is here's our pump. And back there in the back, the J line is the feed line that comes in. Um, basically, this valve back here is coming from our freshwater tank. We don't want coolant to go in there because then when we put fresh water in there, it's going to taste like coolant. What we do have is this fitting right here that comes off. Take the plug out of it. And if memory serves me correct, we should be able to take just a standard hose, which we've got a short one here. And well, that's a big no. That will not fit in there. So it looks like I got to try to find a fitting that size so I can run a hose over into the antifreeze jug, suck the coolant out. So let's pause the video and I'll head down to the shop and see what I can find. I had to dig around through the junk drawer and I found a fitting that'll actually fit on there. And I've got some half inch PVC. Well, actually, this is 3 8. I'm guessing this is 3 quarter to 3 8 nipple. This might even be half inch nipple because I had to heat this up to get it to go on. But what we'll do is screw this onto here. Now we're going to stick our tube down in there, just like that all the way down in the bottom. 
Now, I'm gonna run inside and turn the water pump on and see if it doesn't pick it up. Now we're in the uh, kitchen area where we're going to turn cold water, let it run. I can hear the pump running back there. So what we're doing is we're pushing the water out of the lines and we're going to watch it turn pink. And there it goes. Now we switch over to hot water. It's going to go back clear. We'll give it a few seconds here. And it looks like we're, there we go. We got pink there. So now we're gonna come back here to the bathroom. Same thing back here. Can we see pink? There's pink. Switch over to the hot. There's pink. All right. Now we gotta do our toilet. We got pink. All right. Now we'll pull our little shower mat out of there. Do this one handed here. There it is. Our shower. So we're going to do the cold. Build up pressure. And there we go. Pink. So our RV is now officially winterized.